Hey guys, welcome back to How You Can Build Your Own Hydrofoil with Flukes Kite Surfing. My name's Luke, and in this video, we'll be carrying on with our fuselage, creating the fuselage. In this video, we're going to be tapping our holes, so essentially creating our threads for our screws to go in. Just a quick reminder you can find all of the plans and some accessories and more information about building this hydrofoil at flukeskitesurfing.com at our website. So go and check that out if you haven't already got those plans, and all of the other videos are here on YouTube as well so you can go through from the very start all the way through to build your own hydrofoil from home. So like I said, today we're going to be tapping the holes in our fuselage. Let's get into it. So if you already know how to tap holes in metal, then you can literally just go and do this. You don't need to watch this video, but this video I'll give you some tips for how you can actually do it. So we'll be connecting the front wing to these first five holes in the fuselage, of course, and the rear wing to the back two holes there. And these holes are just through connections for our mast. So we're not doing anything with these three holes now. All we're doing is the front and the back. So I like to just put it in a vise, get it nice and stable and flat. One of the things about tapping a hole is you have to keep it plumb. You have to keep your tap nice and square to the metal, otherwise you end up with bolts that are gonna be on angles. And so uh, that's something to keep in mind. So start by putting your fuselage somewhere solid and that's nice and flat. This is a symmetric six tap, okay? So that's the screws that we'll be using. Uh, if you are actually sourcing other screws, you'll have to get the tap that's for those screws. But for me, the M6 is a pretty standard size that's used in foils these days. Uh, and pretty readily available. So I'm just gonna put it in the tap there. I'll be using, you definitely need some lubricant. There are specialized lubricants for using for tapping that are definitely better than what I have, but I was at the hardware and they didn't have any, so I'm still just gonna be using this three in one oil that I've already used a couple of, for a few different things here. It does work, it's not the best, but that's what I'll be using. So we basically just wanna put some lubricant on the hole and then you place this nice and square and then we're just going to move it around. I actually like to do it with one hand just to start to grab that thread. So you're pushing down with sort of moderate pressure while also turning it. And this will just start to get the thread. One of the things that can go wrong with a tap because they're so hard in the steel is you can actually snap the taps off. So what you do is you actually go until there's a bit of pressure, you can sort of feel that now, there's a bit too much pressure, and then you go back a bit and you clear that. Then we go again, about half of a turn, back a bit and it clears. You can actually hear it snap off. So if we do it again, and you can hear that actually snap that burr off. And we just basically continue like this all the way through. Now, periodically, just add some more lubricant there. And we just, you know, this is quite light pressure. You never really want to force the tap. Metal fabricators actually can do this even using the drill press. They just get it done really, really quickly, but for me, I still do it by hand. Don't have that many skills there to actually tap with a drill press yet. So just backwards and forwards. You can feel when it's starting to bind a little more. Add, it, add a bit more lubricant there. And one of the reasons that we actually machined the fuselage off first is to create thinner profile here, right? So we don't have to tap all the way through an inch. So we are checking, you can see that is just protruding there now very slightly. So we're nearly there, but you want to make sure you go all the way through. Okay, and that feels like, you can see that's just going all the way through there now. So gently, we'll take this out. All the way. Some people like to put their fingers underneath here and just apply a bit of upward pressure so that as it comes out, it just comes out nice and evenly. 
and that is the first hole threaded. So we're just gonna repeat the process for the remainder of the wings, but I did wanna give you one more point here. We're working from the side, the surface that the wing attaches to. So this is for the front wing. So we're not working from the, the other, the tapered side there. So from this side. So when you come to the rear wing, make sure you flip it over and work from that flat side as well. So I'll go ahead and I'll finish all of these taps. Okay, so now I've threaded all of the holes and uh, we've, you can see in here, you can see the thread there now, hopefully you can see that in the light. And of course the big test is to put the screw in. So this is an M6 stainless steel screw and they screw in really nicely. Of course, that's what we've designed it to do. So nice snug fit. And the next step will just be continue shaping the fuselage. So we'll do the final shaping. We'll get the router out, some sanding, uh, and some countersinking, and then the fuselage will be done. So I'll see you in the next video.